Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? You guys probably don't know where I'm at right now, but uh, I'm doing some major reconstruction on the island right now. And basically, in today's video, we are going to be talking about are dragons profitable? So, a couple of days ago, I got extremely lucky after killing about, I don't know, I want to say 576 dragons total. Yes, I did come in first place. Yes, I always did place two or three eyes, and I finally finally got my first aspect of the dragons now I actually made a post in like the little community tab and a lot of you guys were mocking me saying oh monster I got mine in my first dragon my second dragon dude look I did so many dragons I came first place I came second place I placed all the eyes I possibly could and I never got a single aspect of the dragons the same thing goes with the superior dragons I literally have never actually summoned a superior dragon and it sucks dude it sucks so badly but we finally got an aspect of the dragons i'll roll a clip for you guys right now and basically i think i came in first place and i also used the magic find for potion and i got lucky enough to finally get an aspect of the dragons oh my god oh my god oh Oh my god. 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 No way. Oh my god. And also, I still have the aspect of the dragons, actually. It's right here. Basically, what I did is I'm like, you know what? I'll just sell the first, like, my original fully maxed out, fully enchanted aspect of the dragons. And I'll just keep this one because why not? It'll save me a little bit of time. And plus, I literally haven't used the aspect. Like, I just haven't been playing Skyblock recently. So, I figured, whatever. I don't really need it. I can enchant it when I really want to. And we'll be good to go. Plus, also considering I won the spooky event a lot, I got a lot of increased and, like, higher vampirism books and also experience books, which came from from the one new NPC so you know I'll just kind of add that to my brand new aspect of the dragons when I feel like it so before going into this I talked to a couple of people who farm dragons regularly and what they told me is that you use three summoning eyes if you want to or if you're going for the aspect of the dragons and if you just want a piece of armor you only have to use two summoning eyes so what I did is I did three summoning eyes for two different fights and then the rest of the fights I only used two eyes everybody was still saying that using only two summoning eyes it's still possible to get an aspect of the dragons you just have to place really well and another thing that i actually just learned from jay's tweet really recently about the balances and update that he's going to be putting out soon he's actually considering making people place three eyes in order to have a chance at getting the aspect of the dragons i believe he's trying to make this in an attempt to make the aspect of the dragons a little bit more rare so this update hasn't been put in yet but when it does that means that you're gonna to have to use at least three eyes in order to even be able to get the aspect of the dragons anyway we're gonna go over all the dragon fights i did and we'll see if I actually profit off of it. You know what? Let's just start right now. All right. So the first dragon fight we did, we got the young dragon and I placed two eyes and I also came in second place. Now from this dragon fight, we got young dragon leggings from our second fight. I placed three eyes. I came in first place and we were going against a protector dragon. Now keep in mind, this is actually how I got my aspect of the dragons. Unfortunately for me though, this time we only got a protector dragon helmet. Now going on the third fight, I actually came in third place, which was a little bit bad, but I also placed two eyes. Now from this fight, I actually got the protector dragon leggings. Going on to the fourth fight, I came in second place, I placed three eyes, and I actually got a strong dragon chest plate, which so far is the best thing that I've got. The next fight was another old dragon, and I placed two eyes, I came in third place, and I actually got an old dragon chest plate. After this, we had another old dragon fight, and this time I got old dragon leggings after placing Placing two eyes and also coming in first place after this we had another old dragon fight and this time I got old dragon boots now once again I placed two eyes and I came in first place anyway though it's time to look in the ender chest this is all the stuff that I got so the old dragon chest piece the leggings and the boots then we have the protector dragon helmet and the leggings then the young dragon leggings and then the strong dragon chest plate now we also got the frags but as
as we all know, the frags are practically worth nothing, so it doesn't exactly matter. And honestly, I should kind of line these up a little bit so that they go with their proper dragon form. But anyway, yeah, the fragments aren't really that valuable, although I will add them into the equation so that we can really figure out is it profitable or is it not. Now, everything that I'm basing my prices off of is completely enchanted like materials. So basically, this will be completely enchanted when I auction it off. I just looked in the auction house, the most ending soon, and then I kind of averaged the price out between a couple of different dragon chess pieces. Same goes for young dragon leggings. I looked at a couple of different ones to see what they're actually selling for and what the average price is, and that's where I'm getting all this information from. Now, for the young dragon leggings in the auction house, they seem to be going for about 900k. For the protector dragon helmet, that seems to be going for 200k, and so does the leggings. These seem to be like one of the worst armor sets, but the old is even worse actually. The old dragon chest plate is going for about 150k, and odd enough, I did see that the old dragon leggings for going for more with 250,000, and the old dragon boots are going for about 150k. Now, these prices definitely can vary. It's very odd for the leggings to go for more than the chest plate, but for now, we're just going to leave it how it is. Now, the strong dragon chest piece is where I really profited and really did like the best at. I sold a dragon chest piece going in the auction house for two mil, which means that I made most of my money back off of this. Now, after that, the last thing that we can possibly do is look into the fragments for a little bit of hope to get the rest of our money back. So, from the dragon fragments, the strong dragon fragments seem to be going for about 75k each. So, five of these, that's 375,000 just from five strong dragon fragments alone. Now, for the young dragon fragments, each of them seem to be going for about 20k per. So, with two of these, that's 40k. The protector dragon fragments seem to be going for only 5k per. That means that we get 75k for all 15. And 19 old dragon fragments, they really seem to be only be going for about 8k. So, totaling all these old dragon fragments up, it seems like we're going to be making 152,000 off of them. So combining all these prices together, how much is our final total? Well, our final total for all of the dragon equipment we got is 4.4 mil. To be exact, 4,492,000. Now that doesn't include any of the auction taxes based on the strong dragon chest plate. If that goes for 2 mil, we're probably going to lose about 20k based on the 1% tax. But other than that, we're not going to be taxed at all for anything else. At least we shouldn't be. And that's how much money we made. Now keep in mind, the amount of money that I invested into this was 7.5 mil. I bought 16 summoning eyes for 450k each and we ran it all with dragon fights. Now one thing that I can say is I'm extremely happy that I did not get fragged a single time. If I would have gotten fragged a single time that would have mean I lost a lot more money than I already did. Now how much did we lose? Well from this dragon experiment I lost 3 million and 8 thousand coins which yeah that is a lot. I mean a lot of coins but I'm just so thankful for the strong dragon chest plate for at least getting us some of our money back. Now look, I completely understand that some people really do profit heavily off the dragon fights. Me, myself though, I never have. I've never been able to summon a superior dragon. I've only gotten an aspect of the dragons one time. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have any tips for me. Genuinely, I really don't think I'm doing anything wrong at all. I think it is just completely based off of luck. I think the truth of the dragons is, is that it's basically like a slot machine. You can put as much money into it as you possibly want, but there's really no guarantee that you're going to get any or or all of your money back and some people get extremely lucky other people lose out a ton and it really really sucks especially for me who just completely loses while I see tons of people getting extremely rich now the one thing that actually might save me in the near coming future is all of the dragon armors are actually going to be getting buffed so what I plan to do is actually keep all of this dragon armor just sitting in my ender chest until the brand new update comes out which buffs and nerfs a ton of different things hopefully that'll get me some more of my money back considering how much I've actually lost right now but anyway let me know in the comment section down below have you guys profited off dragons or have you guys just went into the negatives me and myself I kind of want to do more dragons because I don't know it's just really so hard to not gamble when people are literally making hundreds of millions of coins off of dragons so I think I'm going to do another dragon experiment in the near future anyway like I said let me know about your experience with dragons have you guys profited or have you guys gone into the negative anyway if you guys did enjoy this experiment make sure you guys hit that like button down below also I lost three million coins for you guys so could you please just smash that like button like I i'd really appreciate it also if you guys are brand new around here hit the subscribe button anyway i hope that you guys have a great day i hope that you guys did enjoy the video and i'll talk to you guys later goodbye